what specifically did you learn tonight and why did you not hear your players more just to pick you up on a point in, from the TV interview? I learned a lot of things. I won't, I won't even start on that because it'll be a long uh, answer. But um, I didn't hear them because Sheffield United had more voice, more personality, and that, and that reflected in the way they played. Defensively, um, what was your assessment of, of that performance and, and how patient can you afford to be with, with defenders in circumstances like that? Well, we made mistakes. We made mistakes that led to goals, um, individual errors. Um, and obviously, if you're going to make mistakes like that, you're going to lose football matches against good teams. And Sheffield United are a good team. So, um, I'm clearly, I'm not, you know, you don't want to say you're patient. We're all striving for the answer right now. But at the moment where we're at, the answer is that we've got how many games that we know in terms of in the league and in the cup and in the Champions League this season. Um, so, we just have to look forward and I don't want to get into the analysis and the details of the game today because it's only going to be negative and we need to be positive. Hi Frank, I appreciate it. it's hard to talk about any individuals today um, but I just wanted to get your thoughts on, on Tony Rudiger, his reaction to not play, starting three games and, and the performance when he came on in the second half. There was no reaction. Are you, what, what reaction are you talking about Simon? Something you know? Yeah, just sort of how he's coped with with not starting the last for three games. Like, have you had to speak to him at all about it? No, he's been very positive, very positive in training. Um, I have selection problems. I say this every press conference with um, trying to pick a team out of the squad because there's competition within the group, and um, so there was no problem with him. Hi, Frank. Um, I just want to firstly ask you: Does this kind of confirm this performance? What you knew about some of the players and the areas where you need to perform? Is this something that will really stick in your mind? Not just one game. I think you, you, I'm always analysing daily and uh, game by game about us. But yeah, I learned a lot today um, about the players. You, turn, you tend to learn more in the tough moments, in tough games. Um, and that's for me to, to work with and deal with as we go forward. But um, the most important thing, as I just said there now, is collectively that it's not one to cry our eyes out for, for days. We're in a situation where the, the games are coming very quickly. We know where we're at. Um, we have the opportunity to fight for, for the top four, which is something that not many expected of us earlier in the season. Um, and you will take knocks in a Premier League year like this, particularly with the situation of where we're at, the phase that we're in. We know we're near a finished article. I know that and I never get overexcited. Um, and to days like that, you have to learn from and improve. I can I quickly ask about, you mentioned the wingers, you couldn't get them into the game today. Um, when it came to Christian, he's had such a purple patch. He got clattered early on. Did that he have any kind of impact on his performance? And do you think he maybe was a little bit jaded after all his big displays the last week? Ten no, I, don't, I don't think so. I, I don't think the, uh, the, the tackle early in the game was, it was a strong tackle, but I don't think it had any effect on it. You know, there are games sometimes where they were difficult, they're difficult for you individually. And Christian's affected games really well individually recently. So I, was, uh, I certainly won't be looking at him. Everybody who's played that game should want more from the Chelsea side. Okay. A quick question. Was that um, a problem? I think I know the answer really, but was that performance a, a tactical? Uh, was it a tactics that went wrong or was it mentality and per personnel that was the problem? I think, you know, it's... Um, Sheffield United are a team that play in a very certain way and a pretty... A pretty unique way to be fair and so the players knew all the information that they needed um, but if you're going to play with a slow level with a low technical level considering how we normally play in terms of our first touch and the ability to play forward quickly and if we're not really going to compete at the level that we should do for the first 45 minutes in particular um, then it doesn't matter how you set up tactically as Chelsea we come here we respect Sheffield United we matched up in the second half I still felt physically at times we weren't as good as we should be. We didn't create enough, um, so there were there were issues in um, in uh, in our quality of our game and in the physical nature of it. 